Hi, this is Erin and I'm going to show you how to um, use some of the features in WeBots. It's mainly going to be do, uh, to, <laughs> to do with the 3D view, which is this huge panel right here, and the scene tree. So this, this right here is called the scene tree, and you can see how as I move back and forth between any object, the um, the cursor in the world view kind of goes back and forth between like between each object and then when I expand an object so it highlights this table right here these are the cursors I can move this table by pressing by just entering something in the um, by entering a number into one of these um, vector slots, but I'll just move it back because you can see I ran into the, the chairs. So the chairs actually knock back. There's like, um, there's like physics rules for how things act in here, so things can fall over. But I can also, um, so that's just a couple of the ways, but you can also just move a chair you have to get like a good view of the object you want to move so now I can also just move the chair this way by grabbing onto the axis handles so I can move it and then this would rotate it okay so um, there's different ways that you can change your view of the room and so I press my cursor over here and it's basically rotating on that pivot point. So I'm just moving my mouse around to get the type of view of the world that I want. Okay, so up here you can see these are the two camera views. So now is looking right in front of him with this view. And then otherwise now is looking at the table. I'm trying to get a better view and then I am using the mouse wheel to move in so kind of create a close-up and then the last thing that I will do will be or one of the last things I'll do is to revert the world so you'll see when I revert the world is going to restart the clock it's going to um, and just restart the simulation and it's going to go back to what it was when I last saved the world. So this is actually what it looked like when I was when I saved the world. So it saves your viewpoint as well. And if I I'm zooming out right now, you can actually get quite close. And I'm going to show you, so not only is the robot standing in this initial stance, but that pink chair is back to where it was originally. So that's about all that I wanted to show you. Um, figuring out the pivot points and rotating in the world actually took me a little bit to get used to. So if you're having a hard time, just know that it takes practice but you can kind of get the view that you would like. All right, bye-bye.